Are you still watching movies in the old way? The old way. The old way. Hey, no, 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 no. Don't worry. In this video, I am going to show you how to watch movies like a geek. To do that, we need a media server. Basically, a media server is used to share your medias such as movies and audios across your devices. The media server which we are using today is called Plex which is one of the best and free media server out there. It gives you the ability to watch your medias which are stored on your computer from any device. You can also use this method to watch a single media using multiple devices. They are providing us a web app as well as an app. So without any further ado, let's see how to install and configure Plex Media Server. Okay, so first open your favorite web browser and then type plex.tv and hit enter. So hover on this download button and select Plex Media Server. And in here, in this drop down, you need to select your operating system. So as you can see, we also have the support for Mac OS, Linux as well as FreeBSD. So I am in Windows, so I am just selecting Windows and you need to click on this button to download this. So it's started downloading. One eternity later. So once you download it, just double click on it. And it will open a window like this. So click on install. We are not going to change anything. So it will ask for the admin rights. Click yes. So if you done everything correctly, you can see something like this. So just click on launch. So it will do the necessary things. So after uh, it's installed as you can see there is a taskbar icon in here so just right click on it and click on open plex so it will open the plex web interface so we need to do some setups in here so let's do it so it's asking me to sign in you can also sign in but in this case i'm not going to sign in to this plex media server so I'm click on this what is this thing and I'm selecting skip and accept limited functionalities. So if you sign into this you have more features but if you not you uh, your features will be limited but I'm not going to sign in in this case. So I'm click on this limited functionalities. Okay so let's just do this setup. So let me click here. So it's asking for Plex Pass. I'm not going to use that. So it's first it's asking for a name. So let's give this server a name. So I'm going to give media server test. So you can tick on this also, but I am not going to tick. It says allow me to access my media outside my home, which means uh, if you tick this, you can access uh, your media from anywhere in the world i think yeah it's telling you can access this from outside of your home network so i don't need that right now so i'm not going to take that so i have gave a name so let's click on next so at this step it's asking to add libraries so let me minimize this as you can see i have a movies folder in my desktop so let's add it to the library so i'm going to click add library and i'm selecting movies and let's click on next and in here let's browse for a media folder so it's in my c drive username and it's in my desktop so here it is so i'm going to click that and as you can see it's previewing the content i'm have i'm only having a one uh, media file in here so I'm just click on add and after you've done everything just click on add library okay now I have added everything so let's click on next 
so we have successfully set up our plex media server so let's click on done so if you done everything correctly your movies will be added like this so let me show you this first if i open my movies directory as you can see i have only one movie file as and also you can see uh, i haven't given any information about this file i haven't given it a thumbnail or anything so i just gave the dot mp4 file only so if i click on this title you can see it automatically picks and it automatically understand that what is my movie file so as you can see in this case i am using big bug bunny uh movie mp4 file so it has given a description about this the play time and the rating as well as information about director studio and staff so in here you can see it's in full hd resolution and i haven't given any subtitles as well so if you need to customize this look you can click on edit and as well as you can edit this informations as well so if you need to change the poster let's say this thing you can click on another poster so let's click on this and as you can see the poster has changed to something else so there are some other things as well you can also download this as well so i'm not going to play this right now so in here we have given only one folder but let's say you need to give another folder to this you can do this by clicking on this settings button and in the bottom you can see there is a section called manage and in here you can see libraries just click on it and you can see the libraries we have added so if you want to edit something you can click on this edit library button in here you can uh, there are some informations about this as well as you can also change the name from here so if you need to give another folder to this you can go to this add folders and click on this browse for media folder and here you can give another location if you have a hard drive or some thing you can give it in here as well so i'm not going to give something else so if your movies didn't sync correctly you can also click on this scan library files button it will scan your folders again and grab all the media files so this is the file which i have right now i haven't any mu uh, music files photos or anything but you can if you want to know the location of this in your computer you can click on this three dot button and manage library and edit and here add folders you can see the path is my music directory under my username so that's how to learn this that's how to uh, find the location of your medias to access our server from outside of our network we need to know the ip address of our server to know our ip address you need to open a command prompt and in here you need to let me make this a bit bigger you need to type ip config it will show you the current ip address of your computer so under ip4 address you can see your ip address so make sure to note down this okay as you can see now i am in a different computer to access our plex servers web interface from this computer you need to open your favorite web browser and then you need to type the ip address which we previously mentioned so let me enter my ip address quickly and after that you need to enter colon 32400 which is the port and you need to also enter slash web to access the web interface you can see this in the description as well as somewhere in the video so if i hit enter you can see it instantly launch our plex server so from here 
we can watch uh, our movies so that's how you can access your plex server from another computer in the same network to access this from outside of your network which means outside from your home let's say you need to configure this i'm not going to show you that in this video but i will bring a, another video for that and also by the same way you can uh, watch plex your movies through your plex server from installing the app for your uh, let's say phones and smart tvs and stuff for laptops you can access it through the web ui web interface so that's how you can access plex from another computer personally i have used plex for more than two years now the best thing i discovered from it was it's very easy to install and configure the plex server by the way you might have problems and doubts about the plex server because when i install plex server in my computer for the first time i had many doubts and problems about that i had to done many researches to find solutions for them but you don't have to do that because i am always here to help you so definitely leave a comment about your question or doubt or if you don't have anything make sure to leave a comment about this video what you think about plex and also make sure to hit that like button as well anyways as you know i have planned to bring many useful and interesting videos in the future like this one and you might also know that i am bringing many surprises to you guys as well so to get notified make sure to hit that subscribe button as well as that bell icon below and also make sure to follow me on twitter instagram and facebook so that's it for today's video see you guys in the next video till then bye bye